scoreboard. Fooler one, pen and teller, zero. And the Fooler winning streak just might continue with this next magician. I'm Rachel Lynn Gordon, and I just turned 11. When I was little, I couldn't say a word in public. I was diagnosed with selective mutism, an anxiety disorder that made life very hard. But watching Penn and Teller inspired me. I wanted to perform like them, talk like Penn. And we think that we thunk it. But not Teller. It took years, but slowly I went from mute to magic. First, I gained confidence by modeling and playing piano. Then I found my voice in the lead in a Broadway national tour. Now I act and voice TV commercials and cartoons. So now, Penn and Teller, I'm the youngest ever coming to fool you. And Teller, don't give up. There's hope for you too. It's time to find out if Penn and Teller are smarter than a sixth grader. Put your hands together for 11-year-old Rachel Ling Gordon. Teller, I don't want to make you feel old, but you've been doing magic for almost five times as long as I've been alive. <laughs> Tonight, it's time you get fooled by a kid a fraction of your age and wise beyond her years. Teller, would you join me, please? As you know, Teller, one of the reasons why magic works is that people take mental shortcuts. They see something, make assumptions about it, and then jump to conclusions. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to do something impossible. Then I'll tell you how it works. And then I'll put my own spin on it. Here is one dot, four dots, three dots, and then six dots. Wait a minute, how can that be? Either I have a four-sided card, or I'm doing something impossible. How can it be that there's one, four, three, and then six dots? Well, let me explain. There's actually five dots on this side. When I put my hand here, you make an assumption that there are four. But when I put my hand here, you jump to the conclusion that there are six. Same with this side. There are actually only two dots on this side. When I put my hand here, you make an assumption that there is one. But when I put my hand here, you jump to the conclusion that there are three. By covering up dots that aren't there, or covering up spots without dots, I trick your brain into making incorrect assumptions. So now, you truly know how it works. Or do you? You assume you do, but you really don't. The reality is that there are actually six dots on this side and three dots on this side. Look again. Six here, three here. But there was never, ever, no dots on this side and eight dots on this side because dots impossible. in a whole, whole, whole new way. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Gordon, everyone. That was quite a performance. Oh, thank you. That was such a joy to watch. You're absolutely adorable. Thank you. I've came a long way. I did the audition when I was 10, and I just turned 11. I saw you waving to some people in the audience. Is your family here with you? Yes. My um, family from New York is here. My grandma flew from Singapore. Well, they must be so proud of you. And what do your friends think about you being a magician? They like it a lot. 
I do a lot of magic tricks for them. I even do some for my teachers. Do you ever use magic to get out of trouble in school? Well, I'm usually like a pretty good kid, but uh, I like doing magic because um, I love people's faces. They light up, and I just love surprising people. All right, Rachel, let's see if we can bring a Fool Us trophy back to show and tell. Let's Should see. we check in with the boys? Yes. Penn and Teller? Rachel, oh man, you are a cute 11-year-old child doing <laughs> a nice trick, and that is not why you are here. You are here because you are a magician doing a trick that we've seen before that you made changes to that we have not seen before. That trick with the spots is a standard that's been done for years, but you added a logic and a pattern to it and an intellectual concept of teaching how that's done and our expectations that makes that really deep and rich. The way many adults do that trick, it is empty and completely devoid of meaning. In your hands, it is not. The other thing you've done is you've added an ending to a trick that never has an ending. They switch and all sorts of other stuff going on that's really, really nice and really good and makes that trick into something that is a really good routine. And I will say again, that is why you are here and not because you are 11 years old. It's a fabulous trick. And I will say, even with the changes that you made that really are original, I hate myself for saying this, but I don't think you fooled us, but we have seen the future of magic and its name is Rachel Ling Gordon. Magic is sailing your way when Fool Us returns. Take a night.